All right, uh, I've been trying to avoid this video for a very long time. We're gonna talk about, in today's video, what happened right here. What happened with this. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're just gonna talk about the honest truth. We're gonna talk about what happened with me and the NPFL. Why didn't I fish the MP? Why didn't I fish the NPFL in their inaugural season, their first season? Um, I was invited. Let's just get that out of the way. I was invited to the NPFL. Um, I was one of the first ten. I was actually probably the first person to commit to the NPFL. Like I was really the first one to come out and say I'm fishing it and. Uh, Honestly, at first, no one knows this, that wasn't the case. At first, I really wasn't into th the league at all. I thought, I thought it was a bad idea. It was just another league. You know, the M MLF and Bassmaster split had just happened, and here's another league. And I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know the details. And um, I got with Al, the one of the owners of MPFL, and he told me all the details. And... Uh, I started, you know, hearing more and more and more, and I was like, man, this is actually sounds really cool. This is really awesome for a lot of guys like me who are fishing Opens or BFLs that want to go pro. It's like a home for them to compete at a high level, make money, and still try to chase that Bassmaster Elite Series carrot or MLF, whatever it's called over there, Pro Circuit, Bass Pro Tour, whatever they're calling it now. It's so confusing over there. But... You know, I'm still a fan of all of them. I'm a fan of MLF, I'm a fan of Bassmaster, and I'm a fan of the NPFL now. But why didn't I fish it? Well, I had every right in my mind that I was. You know, I was on Bass Talk Live. I was a guest on there. And I had did a lot more podcasts. I did two more podcasts. I did some appearances. I did a lot of stuff. And shoot. This is the newspaper from my hometown, the art newspaper article from my hometown, proof that I, you know, I was gonna fish the NPFL. I, I had a bunch of sponsors to back me. I had a really big one that I'm not gonna name that was here from my hometown that was gonna give me a lot of money that was gonna help. Um, I had a boat deal with a certain boat brand that I had in place. Um, I had a bunch of other little sponsors. Uh, I had a bunch of product sponsors. Everything was going great. Like everything was, like my life at that point was great. Like I was ready. I was even going to fish the opens. You know, I had enough money through sponsors. You know, before I signed the contracts, I heard all the money that I was getting. I was going to fish the opens also, like all nine of them and do the NPFL. Like I was going on a big tour next to that, that next year. And it just, like, it was all great, but here's the reason it happened, didn't happen, was COVID. COVID really ruined that for me, and uh, it ruined a, thing, a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Um, it really especially hurt me because it hurt my sponsors, um, potential sponsors that I was about to have, especially the big one, the big money one that I had. Um, they just didn't feel comfortable with it, with the economy going the way it was, and there were so many unknowns, and nobody knew what was about to happen with COVID. Um, and then you had just just all the economical stuff going on, the shutdowns, and you know companies just didn't want to work with me anymore. You know I lost the boat brand deal, and I just knew it was going downhill from there. And uh, I just couldn't get anybody committed to me, you know. And I'm not independently wealthy. I don't have that kind of money to do that kind of tour and spend that kind of money. I mean, I just, I didn't want to take the risk on any loans or anything like that. I didn't want to look crazy like that. I'm still young and still young in my career. And I just didn't want to do anything that might harm me in the near future of my career. So, you know, that path really hurt. And I went down a spiral there fishing wise anyway, you know, I did terrible in my rest of my BFLs and I uh, just had some really bad luck on any other tournaments that I did, and it was a it was a it was a hard blow. I had a lot of personal life issues happen as well. Um, man, it was it was downhill. Twenty twenty was rough. Twenty twenty was a rough year for me. Um, twenty one was pretty rough also, but uh, 
now everything's great. Just being honest, everything is wonderful. Everything is good. Everything is back on track. You know, we have a lot of awesome stuff happening for me in my life now, and uh, we're trying to work on more of the social media game now and fishing. Yes, in the future, I still want to fish in the MPFL. I still want to fish the Bassmaster Lead Series. I still want to win the Bassmaster Classic, like I've always wanted to since I was seven years old. Uh, it's still my dream. I still want to fish the Opens. Um, more likely, we're fishing the Opens next year for 2023. More, more likely, we're going to fish the Opens and... Uh, heck, if things go right, we might try and get in the NPFL again. But uh, I know the door's always there. It's always open. You guys are very kind, very nice to me, and they understood my situation. And uh, I just didn't want to sign a contract with them and commit, you know, to something that I couldn't fulfill. And uh, I'm hoping that I build a big enough brand now that I have something to bring to the table and uh, sponsors like, and hopefully in the future. There's a lot of great things to come because we're working very hard. I'm working very hard on all these videos for you guys, working very hard fishing-wise, trying to up my game, up the level, and uh, trying to do good in tournaments. So, you know, all in all, next year, we're fishing some kind of fishing tour, whether that's the Opens, whether that's the NPFL, whether that's the BFLs. And if it comes down, we only can fish the BFL League. You know, we're going to do a bunch of them. But we're going to bring a lot of content to you guys, and I'm still going to start doing these videos a lot more. Two videos a day. I'm doing, I'm really going to try and commit to two videos a day, uh, you know, every, every day until the end of this year, just to see where it gets us. And a lot of you guys like it. It might be some random stuff. It might be tip videos. It might be just thoughts of, of like certain fishing things going on in the industry, or just stories, or whatever, vlogs, uh, fishing videos. You know, I'm going to try and just put as much content out as I can for you guys, you know, and it is a lot of work between YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and then trying to also fulfill personal life needs. So I'm running rampant right now and it's just, I don't know, I love it. I'm having a good time. Life's great. But yeah, MPFL, COVID ruined it all for me. It really did. Uh, COVID affected everything. And uh, Yep, I just really wanted to get that off my chest, talk about it with you guys, and let everybody know what happened. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a rough year. 2020 was a very rough year for me in my fishing career and personal life. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like that sob story, smash the thumbs up. really helps the videos, gets me out there on the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.